everyone, this is Destiny from the Erlanger branch of the Kitten County Public Library. And today we are here for Discover Her Great Moments, a history of women and girls in science. So today we're gonna take a step back into history and learn some great things that women and girls have done to help our world that we live in today. The first woman we're gonna talk about today is Wang Senhi. She was alive from 1768 to 1797. She was a Chinese mathematician and scientist at a time where many women were not trained in either of these fields. She wrote 12 books altogether, ranging from her opinion on the Pythagorean theorem to trigonometry to even solar eclipses. Ada Lovelace was alive from 1815 to 1852. She was an English mathematician. She wrote the first punch card algorithm more than a century before the modern computer age. She was considered to be the first computer programmer, even before computers were invented. Florence Nightingale was alive from 1820 to 1910, and she was the founder of modern nursing. She was also an English statistician. She created new hygienic practices in medicine when she discovered that poor hygiene and poor care during hospital stays is what caused a lot of deaths. The next scientist I'm going to talk about is Marie Curie, a very famous scientist that's world renowned. She was alive from 1867 to 1934. She was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize for Physics for her work with radiation, and she won that in 1903. She would then go on to win the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, which made her the first person, not just the first woman, the first person to win two Nobel Prizes in her respective field. She was the first woman to become professor of physics at the Sorbonne, which was the college that she attended. And she also created mobile x-ray machines for soldiers and doctors to use on the fields in France during World Wars. Emmy Noether was a German-American mathematician who lived from 1882 to 1935. She was the one who discovered Noether's theorem which would go on to be the foundation of quantum physics. Janaki Amal was alive from 1897 to 1984. She was India's first female botanist as well as the first Indian woman to earn a botany degree in the US. She developed several hybrid species of plants including sweet sugar cane that they used in India to help with the food shortage. She was obtaining a higher degree of education when fewer than 1,000 women were in schools above the 10th grade in India. So she was a very remarkable person of her time, especially since women weren't given an education. And here she was going to other countries to earn more degrees. Shin Shang Wu was alive from 1912 to 1997, and she was a nuclear physicist. She was a Princeton faculty member before women were even allowed to attend Princeton University to further their education. She helped create the Wu experiment, which provided the science community with the information that the universe is actually not symmetrical. It leans to the left a little bit. But she wasn't credited for her work, even though the two male colleagues that worked on it received the Nobel Prize. Gertrude B. Elian, alive from 1918 to 1999, was a biochemist who won the Nobel Prize for creating AZT, the drug that prevents and treats HIV and AIDS. She also created anti-rejection medication used for organ transplant patients. Katherine Johnson was alive from 1918 to 2020. She was a mathematician at NASA, where she studied data for tests and mathematic computations that were important for NASA. She was a part of a team that was called the Human Computers because they didn't have computers back then to calculate all of the numbers that they needed for NASA, so they hired a group of women to be computers, which I think is pretty cool, actually. Um, she was a part of the Space Task Force, which calculated the first path for a spacecraft to carry the first astronaut into space in 1961. She was the first woman in her field to be credited as an author for a research paper. And John Glynn, a famous astronaut, refused to go into space unless Johnson check the calculations that were ran by one of the first computers. You could see Johnson being portrayed in the movie Hidden Figures, and it's based around her and her team. Sarah Rubin was alive from 1928 to 2016, 
and she discovered the existence of dark matter, but she was not given enough credit in her field regarding this. Margaret Hamilton was born in 1936 and she's still alive today. She was one of the first computer software developer and programmers in a time where software programmers weren't really considered scientists in a time where hardware was deemed more important. She was the director of the Software Engineering Division of MIT Instrumentation Lab, which developed the onboard flight software for the Apollo space program. And there's the famous picture of Margaret standing next to the books that are about as tall as she was. That's all code that they used for that Apollo program. And it was about as tall as she was. Uh, she also founded Hamilton Technologies, which works to make software more reliable, cheaper, and faster to develop. Valentina Tereshkova was born in 1937, and she is also still alive today. She is a Russian cosmonaut and engineer. In 1963, she was the first woman in space, and she orbited the Earth 43 times. Flossie Wongstall was alive from 1947 until June of last year. She was the first scientist to clone HIV and create a map for genes that leads to the testing for those viruses. Mae Jeminson was born in 1956 and she is still alive today. She was the first African American female astronaut. She tested the crew for weightlessness and motion sickness and also looked at how tadpoles developed in zero gravity during her mission. She is also a doctor and a teacher. Maria Mirzakhani was born 1977 and passed in 2017. She was the first woman to win the Fields Medal, which is the highest mathematician's award in the world. She was also one of the first two females on Iran's Mathematical Olympiad team. The last scientist we're going to talk about today is Katie Bowman. She was born in 1989 and she led the development of a computer program that developed the algorithm that created the first ever image of a black hole. She graduated from MIT in 2017 and has worked on her algorithm for over three years before it went. Well, thank you for joining me and learning about the women and girls in science. I hope that everybody enjoyed the video and hopefully we can start talking about the new generations to come that are gonna bring more wonderful women in science. And I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks.